Did we get second? Did we get second? I think we got third. What's up, YouTube? Today we're doing a little mini guide on one of the new showdown maps, Scorched Stone. At the same time, we're also going to get my Pam to 500 on this map. And we're going to do, do a showdown. First off, let's go ahead and pull the map up. Oh, one second. There we go. And shout out to Lex for actually making this. He did a lot of work making all these really great use for the community. So here's the map up. Okay, so honestly, my impression of this map is it's very risky. One thing that's totally different about Scorched Plain compared to some other maps that have those centers of the map where there's a lot of grass. That's a definitely a distinct feature of Scorched Plain is that big square in the center of the map. But maps like Feast or Famine or Thousand Lakes it's really easy to check the center for as far as if anyone is in those bushes. One of the main differences in Scorched Stone is it's really, really hard to actually check and see if someone is in those bushes. Because of that wall in the center of Scorched Stone, it's a totally different experience. You, It's really difficult to check if someone is in there. You can shoot a bunch and they can easily hide from your shots because, of course, they're going to see you coming before you even know that they're hiding in the bush. So they're going to be able to get in a position to not get hit a lot of the time. Of course, if there's a bunch of people shooting in the center, it gets a little difficult. But that's the big difference to Scorched Point. It's really, really difficult to be able to scout the center. And this impacts your gameplay a lot. So you're gonna start as a spawn in one of the outside locations. If you end up going towards the middle of the map, um, even if you're just going up at all, you're usually gonna find another team. If you're playing duo showdowns, so you're gonna engage in a fight, usually pretty early a lot on this map. The big thing on this map is a lot of times you wanna stick in your area and it's not so much a map you're gonna run around a lot. And if you do run around, you don't wanna run around in the middle. There's a big portion in the middle. There's a lot of different bushes. It's an interesting map because it feels sort of like a long range map because you can, any long range brawler can shoot pretty much unencumbered for the most part across most of the map. The only difference is there's a lot of bushes. I really wouldn't recommend many short range brawlers on this map. It's really gonna be a long range. Um, throwers aren't super great on this map. Definitely long range and mid range are really, really successful here. Tanks can be okay because I think the best use of a tank here is having one tank and like one long range because as you get closer to the end of the map, having that tank can be really useful for the center or at the least that tank can be really useful for just staying alive and running away because he does have that really high health and faster move speed. But otherwise tanks really aren't gonna be that useful on this map. My main recommendation for if you're playing duo shotgun on this map is to sort of just run, if you're gonna run around, run around on the outside of the map and that way you can push teams towards the center or towards another team. You don't want to be running around really close to the middle because if you do get pushed into the middle by two teams, you're really screwed. Anytime you get pushed towards the middle, there's usually at least like one team lurking in the middle or something and they're going to probably gank you without you even like being able to defend yourself. So definitely be really careful about going towards the middle. For the most part, you want to run around on the outside of the map. And as always with any map where there's a lot of boxes sometimes in the middle of the map, you got to be really, really careful. I'm not a big fan of rushing the middle on almost any map unless you're a tank and it's like feast or famine. But on this map, even if you're a tank and you rush middle, it's not a great idea because there's just not enough hiding spot for you. Yeah, there's some um, bushes and there's some cactuses, but you're not able to really get away unlike you are in other maps. It's just sort of open. Like there's a lot of one tile covers, but there's not a lot of stuff you can get behind until you're a good distance away from the middle. All right, here we go. Let's get Pam to 500. I'm eight away. It's level eight, Pam. We're going to go with randoms and do our show. So hopefully we get a good teammate. But Pam is definitely pretty strong right now after the buffs. I definitely call her top 10 brawler. Not quite top five, but borderline maybe. But anyways, let's get into the match. Also, there's like a concert going on outside. I kind of hope you guys can't hear it. I don't know. Let me know, I guess. All right, so we got Anita. Not super ideal, but it'll be fine. The one pause about Anita is can uh, deal with the middle a little bit easier. But Pam does check bushes really well, so now I'm wondering if we'll find a team here. Yeah, they took that box. So at this point, I'm just going to make sure we're checking bushes. And I'm just going to try and build up my super. I don't want to go too hard in the middle. We are able to maybe get this box. Nope, not going to. That's fine. So we're going to come back. Our Nita definitely has to come back. And like, see, this is where you get this option situation. You want, a lot of people want to stay around here. I'm really not going to recommend you staying in those areas. Because it's just too easy for you to get pressured by one team and then be forced to go towards the middle and you end up dying. 
So right now, I just want to build up my super. And I'm just going to let another team. I'm just going to be patient. Let another team make a move. My Nita really wants to go forward. I mean, if my Nita's going to come back after taking damage, that's totally fine. Always good to build up your super. I don't know where that cult went. I think that cult went behind the wall. So we're not going to really be able to push this team very well. As long as any other team is a push. So this is really an awkward situation. Like, that cult knows where I have to go. Because there's that one opening. And if that Pam had pushed us, we could have been in a really bad situation. Because there's sort of like nowhere to go. Because there's just that big awkward wall. Now I gotta figure out when and where I want to put down my turret. I'm kind of saving it because there's just not a great time yet. And my Nita's not really able to help out right now. And this is definitely a pretty awkward situation. I'm gonna go ahead and place our turret down over here. It's gonna die. But we are gonna be able to do something with- Ooh, that Pam did go down. That Pam really went after us. Four teams left. We really want that team to just find another team to bully. Now I'm just going to try and hide here, be patient, and let another team do it. My Nita, for some reason, is just standing still. I'm going to go ahead and Nita. If Nita dies, I'm honestly, like, okay with it. I really want us to split up right now. And I just took way too much damage to the poison. I just want to let these teams fight. I don't want to do that much right now. I know I'm not going to be able to do anything. Maybe I can help kill this Jesse here. Okay, that cult just went down. This is going to be a good time for us. Let's push this Jesse, try and get second place. No, our Nita's going in on the strong team. That's what we really don't want. We want to go after that Jesse. Push that Jesse. I think I'm going to lose right here. Did we get second? Did we get second? I think we got third. No, we did get second. Wow, that was so close timing. That is exactly best case scenario. I think that could have happened, though. So now we're five trophies away. Five trophies away. So we could do this in one more match. We're going to see... Now, we did not have a good situation that whole game. All we did was play patient. That is really the best way to gain trophies in Duo Shonen. Thankfully, my teammate didn't just go and, like, suicide. He took some damage, but he didn't take too much. So he did fine in that regard. Only four boxes in the middle. All right, good. We're going to have a good two-box start. Penny? Penny, teammate? Penny's really good right now. In general, so I'm okay with it. Not, like, always really strong in Duo Shodown. Thankfully, like, I can check bushes, which is Penny's definite weakness. Not able to check bushes. Oh, got way too close to that Poco. And this is going to be a hard fight for us. I'm just going to heal up first. Did get three elixir, though, so I was able to steal a box. Nice job, Penny. Okay, so this is where it's like, I'm trying to fight this team, but I'm sort of in the middle. Like, any team in the middle can just come and attack us. This is... Definitely an awkward spot, so we want our Penny to come towards me. Oh, our Penny, come on! Let's see if I can get this kill. I think I'm not going to be able to. You're going to super me? I really hope you do. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Um, yeah, that was so dumb. That was actually a good super. I was kind of hoping he would super and I would walk towards him, but he waited. And I just failed. So that was me being the opposite of patient. That was a really dumb move. My teammate was down. It was a two on one. And then you actually ended up seeing another team coming over as well because I saw some action. It was, I should have just gone to a safe distance, maybe given some damage, but going for a versus Brock in a one on one is a really difficult situation. Even with the new and improved Pam, it's still not great. So we're gonna have to be careful here about another team coming in. I'm gonna go ahead and get a third elixir. Taking some damage, but it's okay. Gotta watch out for that Tara. I think we have Bo with star power, so it's okay. Didn't get a lot of my super. Okay, here's a team. Let's see what they do. Give them some damage here. Man, Pam is definitely a lot stronger, but she's still not my favorite. She's just uh, not consistent enough for me, personally. Go ahead. Oh, come on, wall. I wanted to put that in the corner. Well, that was a big fail. I guess this should have been slightly more patient. Five teams left still. There's a kill. Okay, nice. What about this team? Oh, nice job getting the Tara. Oh, here we go. Can we get this? Jesse, too? We did get the Jesse. Nice. All right, now we got a really good elixir. Eight elixir. Oh, yeah. And we got Bow with Star Power, so this is definitely a situation where we can take on the middle. Although, a 6 Elixir Tara, that is definitely trouble. It does have Super, so we gotta be careful about staying in this Pam turret if they're gonna Super us. I'm gonna stay here, I think. I'm not quite sure what this other team is. I don't know. We do have those mines there. Okay, let's see. I guess we can push this team a little bit. 
Okay, they didn't super us, so they supered another team, so we gotta come in here and go for the kill. Let's go ahead and be aggressive. Mm, I put that turret down, but I'm not so sure about it. Mm, I don't want to let this Colt heal up if I can. Doesn't look like I'm really gonna be able to stop the Colt. Okay, okay. This is good, but I don't know what situation our bow is in. Oh, Jesse turned and now we have two teams attacking us. There goes that team. Oh, nice. Jesse bounces getting a kill there. We're able to just stay in this heal the whole time, and I think this is going to be game for us. Man, that Pam turret was so clutch. We took a lot of damage for a long time. But Pam is just really strong. We gained back those trophies. There we go. Now we're again within five. Let's do it correctly this time. Here we go. Let's see where we are. We will continue with the bow. I liked having Bo's scouting ability there. I think we were just able to play smart. We don't have a great elixir start. We're going to have to push for a box. I guess mid. No, yeah, we're not really going to get any boxes here. I don't know who, who the Jesse's teammate is. Piper. Okay. Ooh, I'm going to die probably. Yeah, that was not very good. We got one elixir out of it, but I mean, I don't know if that was worth it. I guess it's better than nothing. Our bow has one elixir, but other than having no elixir. But this is going to have to be a really patient and cautious game for us. We're going to have almost no elixir. This is one of those maps similar to like Stormy Plains, how whatever hand you're dealt with at the start of the game as far as how much elixir is spawning near you, that's sort of the hand you get. Because otherwise you got to kill a team. That's pretty much the only other way you're really going to be getting much elixir. Because see, now we're, we're just going to keep fighting teams with higher elixir than us, and our bow is in a big situation versus Piper. But it was able to escape with only one hit, so that was good. I mean, I sort of want to build up my super, but no need to push it here. We can take out that Jesse turret if he wants, but really no need to. We can just let it stay alive. Let another team deal with it. I'm not going to be too aggressive here. If I got hit at all, it's going to be big trouble. Piper at long range and definitely a lot more elixir than me. I'm waiting for another team to come over here. Oh, got sniped. This is about to be Please don't come from Piper. Okay. But, uh, oh, there's a lot of teams over here. Okay. Um, here comes my bow, who's invincible. We're gonna play this. And there goes one team, so at least we're getting third. Oh, God, Jesse. And, uh, both of these teams here. This is so bad, yeah. I really needed that third team to come over. At least we didn't lose any trophies, though. Oh, uh, we're still going with the bow. I'm kind of like having the bow. We don't have a lot of damage, but we have a lot of, um... We have a lot of range, first off, and we have a lot of scouting good. I feel like this is a safe team. We can play our way into good situations with this team. We're not going to really overwhelm teams. Nice. They got too aggressive there. I'm, he's going to go that way. I'm going to go this way. Okay. Got it. What about a team over here? No? Okay, there's that Pam. All right, so we're going to heal up a little bit now. That team's being pressured, so definitely want to push the situation. I'm just going to go ahead and get this box. These guys don't have a lot of elixir. I'm just going to go fall back now. I liked how we came out of the situation for now. Mm, I want to place my turret down, but I kind of don't because I feel like it's just going to die. So here, I actually just place it there. And this team pushed over, they're going to kill our turret pretty fast. That's unfortunate. I really thought they were going to stay middle. Oh, that dynamite stops uh, going after my turret. That was a big mistake. Now we're going to be able to be a lot more aggressive than they are. Just going to keep pushing this team. I'm not sure where they're going to go, but... Hopefully just into another team. Not quite. So there's a team mid. I don't know where the fourth team is. Man, this team is just walking everywhere, which... I'm not a big fan of doing on this map, because look, see that dynamite is just taking damage everywhere he goes. Okay, so we're pushing this Poco. I don't know how close the Poco is to heal. There goes my turret. I haven't been able to get a lot of my super back. Push this Crow. Oh, Crow's in between two Pams. Now that's a matchup you don't want as a Crow. Okay, nice, nice. Here's going to be good Elixir for us. Okay. Oh, here we go. I think we can get this first place and get 500 if we kill this Piper. Oh, come on. We can definitely do this. Here we go. Just like that, we got 500 
Nice! Only two more dollars to get to 500 now on my mini account. And Pam is so, so strong. Glad to get her to 500. Definitely a lot easier after the balance changes. But hey, can't complain. All right, guys, this is going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed my map guide on scores, planes, and getting Pam to 500 trophies. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you later.